What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Raymond Chaka Forever. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, I have another video. Before I get into that video, I want to remind everyone that I leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up, and if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. That way you'll be notified every time I load a video. Today, I'm about to load a video. Today, I'm sharing my thoughts on um, why I got laid off from my night job. Um, last week, a week ago, we were leaving work on a Monday, which is Tuesday morning. And one of my coworkers that worked for the company came to me and was like, hey, Ray, nice working with you. I enjoyed a good laugh. We shot a lot of good memory. Thank you for all the knowledge, wisdom, understanding you hand out to me. Give him a whole little speech. He's like, uh, today's my last day. And I'm like, and I cut him off. Like, what? You told him when, you told me when I first came in that you put in your two week notice today. And I was trying to talk out of it. Like, yeah, but they told me instead of putting my two week notice, just go in and quit. Don't come back because they land people out tomorrow. I'm like, really? They land people out tomorrow? So that led to a whole conversation. He told all the English talking employees and temps and some of the Spanish people that he was cool with through voice text on his phone with it translated from English to Spanish. So I wish him well in the plans he got, you know, and I went home the next morning. I get the sonnets. I called the temp company just to see if they knew anything about it, just to see if they had a plan put together to help all their workers that work for them as a temp at this company. Did they have a backup plan for it? And it took three times to call in the next morning to finally get through. When I finally got through, they didn't know nothing about it. They asked me who told me, and I just, I just, I thought I said the right name, but I didn't. I gave them the name. I just said Christian. You know what I mean? I just said Christian. All right, well, we're going to look into it, and I get a call back. They, they knew for sure that this was going to happen. They asked me, how long have I been on the job? I'm like, I've been on the job this coming August will be three years. And any time the slow season come around, they always switch us around to other positions and whatnot. But this is the first year they have to say that they're going to lay some people off. And, like, and she was like, don't worry about it. If you didn't hear from a manager, don't worry about it. I'm going to call and see what's going on. Okay, cool. Left like that. So that Tuesday, I show up for work. As soon as I come to the door, I see one of the Spanish females that I got a crush on sitting on set complete tears. And I know she's been there for some years. I mean, face red, eyes watered, still crying. She couldn't sit there. She's looking at the floor just straight crying. And I'm like, yep. So people getting fired. Then one of my coworkers that drove the forklift and I came like, uh, so and so got fired. I'm like, I, I could the name that register a firm. Like, what do you mean? Who was that? They told me the guy that they pick up from Newport News. I'm like, wow, wow. So they really is laying people on. He's like, yeah, good luck. Hope they don't lay you. I'm like, I'm already in the mindset. It is what it is. So I go clock in, clock in, go to our three o'clock meeting like I always do. Guy tells the manager tell what's going on. Cool. Then um, he tell me I need you to go upstairs with him. I'm like, huh? I need you to come upstairs, okay? Everybody let a couple of Spanish people that heard him laughing, smiling. Like, I knew the one I'm about to get fired. I'm about to get laid off. No big deal. Get upstairs. It's already five other Mexicans in there. So they give us a whole speech. They wait. Well, we sit there and chill for a while. And I can tell something's wrong because the, the manager, his face just looked just so pale like he just... He wanted to cry, you know what I mean? But, you know, he's a puppet. He got to do what the manager up ahead say. He just a shift manager over the night show. He has to do what the up ahead say. No big deal. No, no hard feelings. So we're sitting there chilling. The translator come in. And that's what the manager tell us. Well, let me back, let me back up. Rewind, 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 rewind a little bit. My bad. I got to rewind a little bit. I forget. I was thinking and stuff. Um, while I was sitting down and said what I'm mean, the guy, another employee, another company were coming like, Asking, what the hell did you call to tell your people? I'm looking like, what? What do you mean? He said, uh, this is when I get a, I get an email from the head manager over the, over the, over the uh, temp saying that, what am I going around telling people? I'm like, oh, that's what I say. Um, I called my temp company to see if they knew anything about a big layoff that the job will be doing today. And he's like, yeah, that's okay, but why did you give him money? I'm like, oh shoot, I thought I gave him your brother name because him, and his brother got Christian's name, one name Christian. And one name, something else in the Bible. And the first thing came to mind was Christian. You know what I mean? That was the first thing came to mind. So I apologized to him. And he was like, I hope I don't get fired from, from telling you, giving you the heads up. And I'm like, oh, shoot. I really hope you don't get fired neither from 
for giving me the heads up. You know what I mean? So then we go upstairs and I'm moving forward. We get upstairs. It's me upstairs, five other Mexicans in there, but I was the only American that was on the night show that wasn't a, a company worker. So it gives all speech like, uh, you know, we're slowing down. We got to cut back on workers. We don't have enough work to get through the week. So we overstaff. We, we let people go on a day shift. We let people go on a night shift. And a couple of spending, one of the spending guy asked, uh, when the business season come back around, would you call us back? And the manager said, yeah, it's a possibility we'll call you back. It's a possibility that we won't. We'll, we'll worry about that. We'll cross that bridge and that time come. All right, well, we got to let you go. You know, it's okay to take all your stuff home. And this is it. I'm sorry, but we can't control how much work come in because all the work we had that was lined up until summer, people was on vacation and that back from vacation. People taking extra time on using their extra PTO time, sit day time. They're using all that time now. And it's tax season time, so that means work might not pick up so far the end of March, beginning of April. You know, we better we just worry about keeping a certain amount of people busy on each shift and go from there. So I said, all right, thank you. Have a nice day. I left, and um, that's how I got laid off on my night job. You know, I, I was disappointed. I was disappointed. Like, dang, I've been on the job two years. August coming would have been three years. I mean, working, on this, working for this company through a temp company, and... And that is all over. You know what I mean? So I immediately got on the phone with making calls and lined some things up. And that's what led to, as you see, I got fired from there Tuesday. I got laid off Tuesday. I got laid off Tuesday. And then Wednesday, I went to the other temp company to start a paperwork for me to get into the shipyard. You know, and I started training this week. Today is Monday, January 16th. I start training tomorrow, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from 8 in the morning, 8 30 to 8 in the morning to 4 30 afternoon. Then the following week, I start work working at the shipyard as a fire watch from 4 p.m. to 12 30 at night. That way I get off in time, I can get home and get five hours sleep before it's time for me to go to my day job. You know what I mean? And I'm going to go from there. Um, it's paying the fire white position pays two dollars less than what I'm making at the warehouse. I'm making eight. I'm making seventeen in the warehouse. So the fire white position pays fifteen. My cousin work out there, and some other family members work out there. You know, we are doing the same job. Fire watches. Um, someone gonna be welding on the ships or inside the ships, and I'm standing a good distance behind on full OSHA hard hat, safety glasses. Gloves on, safety vest, and I gotta. I, I guess I'm gonna have a fire hazard in my hand. And when I see a spark that might turn into a fire, I gotta put it out. I'm standing for this. Sometimes you do a little labor, a little general cleanup, but most of the time you just standing with a fire hazard ready to put the fire out if the spark gets too big or the sparks turn into a fire. You know how to, they wet and all the sparks shoot that well. If it leads to a fire, it's my job to put it out before it gets to a bit fire. That's my job. I'm not allowed to leave my position. I'm right there with that one person for eight hours straight from 4 p.m. to 12. The 30 minutes of my lunchtime, and we go from there. That's every day. It's not a weekly paying job. 40 hours a week, overtime as available, as is available, and I can't complain. You know, I got five Tuesday and started up here with the next day. I got I actually called around that Tuesday while I was at Sonics. I got one air part my ear called around, set these moves up. Seeing what's available, seeing what's not available. My tip company didn't have no nothing lined up. They say they got an email that morning saying that they're going to they gonna lay people off. I'm like, wow. You know what I mean? After it happened, they got the email that Wednesday morning. You know, but they didn't have nothing lined up. Uh, that same company I was working for across the water, they went to get a head count of how many people they wouldn't take over there. But I'm not willing to drive four to five minutes work. I'm not willing to drive four to five minutes work. That's that's two tunnels I got to go through, which is toes. So instead of me going through the tunnel two times a day, I would have to go through the tunnel four times a day. No, thank you. I'm going to go ahead with this uh, shut yard position as a fire watch until I get my money up where I start making moves towards the other plans I have towards getting my feet for good to end this cycle of being able to get laid off. And that's how I got laid off from my night job. Um... You know, I always stay with a backup plan some kind of way. When I hear bad news like that, I'm going to jump on it right away. I'm not going to wait to see it come true. If it's true or not, I'm going to get out here and 
Start putting other things lined up together to get my, to make sure myself is covered. Um, for a shout out, my shout out video the last Sunday in January, y'all tell me y'all felt the situation. Let me know in the comments. I give you a shout out in my shout out video the last Sunday in January. If you like this story time, take the time to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Make sure you turn the post bell notifications that we notify every time I upload a new video. I do leave a link to a different playlist in every description box. Take the time to click on those links, run the views up, run the thumbs up up, run the comments up. And if you feel the need to share the playlist, feel free to share the playlist out.